Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Welcome back to my channel. So we are here for another one of our Countdown to Christmas um, episodes and we are up to a day 20 of the Advent Calendar series. Um, so I've got something a little bit different today. I've got these kind of vintage um, little paper packs and yeah, they've just been put together, um, you know, yeah, containing all vintage papers and things like that. So there's three of them going to be for sale in my shop. And I'm just going to show you through them one at a time. Now, I probably won't list these as pot potluck because they are sort of slightly different. And one or two contain maybe, you know, slightly more papers than the others. So I will put them in listed individually just to let you know that. So I'm going to go through them one at a time. So I'll just separate them out. So this is the first one. So you get these two little, you know, packs here. Um, they're just bound with some ribbon. Now I'm just going to slide this off just because I've kind of caught some lace into here just, you know, for extra sort of prettiness really. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of slide it on and off, but of course you could undo that. So you've got some lace and some ribbon there that you can use in your projects. And then it's wrapped around with this beautiful um, aubergine type coloured lace and you've got a really good kind of length of that. And of course you've got some on the other um, little, you know, bound papers as well. So contained in here you've got this gorgeous paper bag and I've just altered it with some lace trim here and just a bow. Aside from that it's, you know, it's plain. And then contained within there, oops, I've just put in some vintage things. Now some of these I've handmade and some of them are, well they're all, they're all genuine vintage things but some have been altered and some are just the originals. So we've got a um, cabinet card photograph there so that's the original. It is very jaggedy down the edge. That's how I bought it. Um, you know I haven't cut that down. That's how that came to me. So that's um, you know cabinet card there. Then you've got some of these gorgeous clusters. These are a bit like the ones that I made with my daughter with the um, wax seal there. But the difference is this time I stapled them together and then I added the wax seal. It's also got a little rusted paper clip on there as well. Then you've got here a little selection of kind of um, clustered up items and some lace and a little vintage postage stamp held together in the corner with a little tiny brad. So again, you know, these are kind of vintage papers. The journaling pages here, they are not vintage. Um, but these are vintage so this has been stamped onto some vintage paper and this is some vintage paper and obviously that's a vintage postage stamp um, forgot to say but yeah this is your vintage cigarette card and these are a couple of stamped items this one here this has been stamped onto some vintage fly sheet um, so yeah you've got a lot of vintage you know vintage goodies in here so this one, again, you've got some clustered up items. You've got some vintage document, you know, a piece from some vintage document. You've got some lace, some more vintage document there, a piece of brown paper bag and some more vintage document there. And then you've got here some pages for journaling, um, some lace trim, and then it's held together again with a brad. So it's a kind of little clustery, kind of scrappy notebook type piece. You know, you can obviously use these, you know, however you um, choose. Uh, then you've got this gorgeous cluster. Now, I absolutely love this, I have to say. So this one here is a printable in the background. So that's been coffee dyed and it's just on there like that. And then you've got some vintage sheet music and then you've got some of this vintage sellotape. This was on some sheet music and it was kind of like lost its stick and just, you know, peeling away. So I thought it looked really cool um, just stuck into that cluster. And then you've got a wax seal kind of holding those pieces together. Um, like that and then you've got here another little clustered up um, little piece you've got some vellum there in the background some little um, you know uh, it's not a printable but some faux vintage ephemera there and then some actual vintage ephemera there again it's been held together with a staple and then the wax seal put on top of there so I'm just going to kind of like put these together like that this one, this is a photograph from the Lewis Carroll book and I've just backed it onto some card there and then you've got a vintage, genuine vintage postcard, which of course you could use that way around or kind of that way, pop it into a journal. So lots of yummy vintage things there and as I say, some have been altered and some are in their, you know, original form. So that's your little pack there and then obviously, like I say, that's all going to just come wrapped around with the lace so you're going to get you know lots of yummy kind of lace and things like that to be able to oops use in your project so obviously this one has got a kind of aubergine -y theme to it oops 
like that and yep and just wrap that round I've actually put that lace on now back to front I think it's hard to say um and then of course it's just held together with that um you know ribbon with the extra piece of lace there so I'll just thread that back on so that's that one and then contained in the same pack so this pack contains these two little items so you've got this item here with obviously you know all these gorgeous little yummy bits and then also contained in this same pack you've got again some more of the gorgeous aubergine kind of lace held around just like a little wrap um, bound with the ribbon and then in here I've just done a little pouch of um, selective vintage pages. This is a bit like the things that I made inside that altered paper bag folio. So I really enjoyed making that and I wanted to do some more. So that's where the inspiration came from. So again, this is bound with a ribbon. Now you've also got a bulldog clip there holding on a little altered, uh, not altered, uh, handmade flower. So it's a handmade puffed yo-yo flower there that you could obviously pop on the covers and things like that of your journals you could always kind of pop a you know a felt round on the back and use that as a brooch or you know have you liked um but that's that and yep you've got the ribbon here and then clipped onto this one you've got this is a genuine authentic vintage um rusted paper clip and I just clipped on some bits and pieces now these are from my faux stamped images um these two and then this one here, this is a stamped image onto some vintage paperwork. So you've got some kind of, you know, mix of things there. And then the cover itself, this is some vintage document. Um, so you've got a large piece there of some vintage documents, some gorgeous, um, you know, script there or, you know, handwriting. Um, and then I've just put some lace and some bling down the side. So that one contains everything within. Then you've got another one wrapping around as well here. So absolutely gorgeous. Again, it's some vintage document. I just put some lace down the side. Oops. So you've got like a double cover and then contained within there, I just clustered up a whole bunch of vintage pieces. So you've got some vintage pieces, then you've got a couple of coffee dyed pieces, which are not vintage. You've got this internal envelope. You've got lots of fly sheet and things like that. So any kind of blankish um, documents and things that I could find to hold in there. Um, some of that lovely deli paper. And then again, some vintage invoices and things, some tracing paper, some grease proof paper for, you know, the crunch. Um, and then, yeah, again, some vintage documents, some vintage book page, sheet music. And then this here, this is, um, a sheet from my newest uh, printable and I can't remember now what I called it ah oh, something Charles Dickens what was it called oh oh great expectations <laughs> um just printed onto some <coughs> tracing paper there and it's just been held with these wide eyelets and then some lace trim going through and then some lace on the side so just a super scrumptious little pack of goodies there and then obviously, like I say, that ties around with the ribbon like that. And then the lovely, gorgeous puffed yo-yo flower is then just held on with the bulldog clip like that. I mean, to be honest, could even put this actually on the outside of the pack. So perhaps I will do that. So, yeah, I'm probably wrapping this um, inside out again. I seem to just have a habit of doing that. But yeah, you've got again more of that gorgeous kind of aubergine colour lace. So, you know, lots of bits and pieces that you can then obviously use, you know, in your projects. And then that just wraps around. Oh, I'm not sure whether it goes around this way, but we'll give it a try. So, yeah, it was actually tied around the other way. So I'll have to just tie it around the other way. Otherwise, we're not going to have enough there to tie it. So, yeah, that just ties around like that oh, come on. gorgeous color combination i love this rich gold ribbon with that aubergine it just looks super super pretty and it obviously this whole pack feels absolutely scrumptious and yummy so i mean you could keep this to kind of journal on as a little sort of mini journal or of course you could obviously use all of those vintage papers you know and just tear them out as and when you wanted to use them they're like just a selection of a bundled bunch of papers so that's pack one then we've got pack two. I will do 
here so this is pack two um so they're all different like i say so this one you've got this gorgeous dark gray ribbon holding it which i just absolutely love you've got this length of lace here which is in this beautiful i don't actually know what color to call this but it's like cross between a plum and a pink really but it's absolutely gorgeous gorgeous lace and that's holding your paper bag now this again it's an altered paper bag and it's just altered with this lace you've got a piece here from a vintage book more lace here and then contained within here now obviously all these packs are different because they're obviously you know they're actual vintage papers so none of them are going to be the same um this one here i enclosed these couple of handmade papers to you know kind of like act as a little wrap around for these so you've got a couple of handmade papers there and then contained within you've got a cabinet card here again it's a genuine vintage cabinet card again the back is very um you know uh rough this is how this came i you know i didn't do this this is how i bought this so you know it has got the rough back I just would like to sort of point that out then you've got one of these clustered items again these are like the ones that i made with my daughter so a little wax seal there holding those together and you could just you know pin pin these not pin them glue them onto a page as a little kind of decorative piece they're just super cute then here you've got a little clustered item with again lots of vintage papers and then some of that deli paper and things for journaling on vintage postage stamp piece there of some vintage invoice and a bit of tracing paper in there it's just been held together in the corner with a brad and then here very similar so you've got some vintage document here like that and then you've got another little piece here this is again some of that vintage sheet music where the sellotape was on and the sellotape's come off so the sellotape's no longer there but isn't that just gorgeous and then you've got some of that jelly paper in the back for journaling. Now I have stapled this in the middle just to kind of hold it together, but then I've added a little faux rusted paper clip on there as well. Then you've got another one of those little cluster pieces with some vellum, vintage document and the wax seal. And then you've got here another one of those gorgeous images from the Lewis Carroll book, which I've just backed onto some coffee dyed paper. So really yummy, kind of like, you know, very vintage feeling um pack i mean of course most of this is vintage there's only a few things in there that weren't um you know authentic vintage things anyway and then of course it just wraps around with that very pretty color lace which yep i don't know what color to describe this as but very very pretty and then the gray ribbon i just thought looked really 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 lovely on here so you just wrap it around a couple of times like that and then whoops and then of course you can just tie that into a bow oh my goodness i don't know what's going on with my tying skills but yeah more more haste less speed i think as they say is well required here not great so that is your little pouch and then you've also got now this one's not wrapped in lace you've just got some ribbon going around this one and yeah, the ribbon's just wrapped right around a couple of times. Now, this one, for the outer pouch for this, oops, I've got a bulldog clip there holding on a little handmade flower. So, again, this is just some um, lace. This is actually vintage lace from my Nan's curtains, Nan's neck curtains. And then you've got a stick pin in there and this large gem and then a feather and a felt round on the back. So, that just clips on with the bulldog clip onto the cover of this. Now the cover for the wraparound for your, you know, your sheets of paper contained within. This is actually some vintage book page. And what I did, I just glued two pages together, front and back, so that they were kind of thicker. And then I've made kind of a little booklet by just gluing down some lace down each side like that. I've popped a bow on there like that. Now this paper is a bit blotchy. I don't know whether the light's really picking that up or the camera's picking that up. Again, that's because this is vintage book page. Um, that's how this book page is. It's a little bit kind of patchy in colour. I have not done anything to that. That's how that book came. Um, but yeah, I just want to kind of point things like that out. So that's your little cover. And then contained within, I've just enclosed some vintage document there as another little cover. Again, you've got some lace trim on the side. So that just goes in like that to create a kind of double, doubled over cover. And then here you've got, again, a bunch of papers contained within the wide eyelets and some ribbon tied through. So you've got some 
um, tracing paper. This is just from my Pink Lady kit and printed onto tracing paper. And then you've got lots of vintage documents. You've got this one, which is this beautiful, beautiful um, kind of ledger sheet or invoice paper. I can't see the date on there, but this is very, very, very old. Um, oh, I can't see the date now. So I don't want to misquote, but it, it is very, very old um, papers. So, and it's on that really thin, what I can only assume is like the onion paper. So it's really, really lovely. And then you've got some deli paper. You've got some more vintage documents. You've got some coffee dyed paper there, vintage documents, some envelope paper, some more vintage documents. Um, some cover from vintage document there, vintage document, some goose proof paper, more vintage document. Oops. So quite a few sheets of the vintage documents. They're different documents. They're not all the same. Some vintage um, book page here with a bit of lace on there. Some um, more from the vintage documents. Some vintage sheet music, some coffee dyed paper, deli paper, more of the vintage document and some... Um, you know sheet music cover there and then this vintage document here with all these wonderful stamped um you know like official stamps on there so really really super cute bundle there and like i say that one is actually just bound with a couple of um not not a couple sorry a length of the ribbon just wound round is what i was trying to say a couple of times so just tie that up there like that and yeah tie it into a pretty bow i mean it just is you know gorgeous and yummy it feels lovely to hold because of course these are all vintage kind of documents it feels nice and squishy and like i say these are just to use that you know you could either journal in this using it like a little mini journal yourself or you know you could tear all these pages out and use them in your um journals and things like that so that's set number two so i'm just going to put that to one side Set number three is this one here. So this one contains um, two different laces. So you've got this kind of peachy colour and this gorgeous pinky aubergine colour. Um, and again, tied this around with this lace here. Uh, lace, ribbon. Ribbon even, yep. So again, you've got a good size length of lace there that you can use obviously in your project. And then you have got a little puff yo-yo flower here absolutely scrummy um this is in velvet it's obviously a puff yo-yo you've got a gemstone in the middle you've got a stick pin and then lace around the edge you've also got some pearly trim in there as well um and that just kind of goes in there although to be honest i'm now thinking i might just clip that onto the front of there because i think that would actually look even prettier um, then you've got this altered paper bag, so it's just a paper bag, some lace trim here, a bit of lace here, a um, bow, and then a little hand-stitched fabric ruffle across the top. It's just so cute. And then contained within your paper bag, you've got, again, a couple of sheets of the handmade papers, just acting as a kind of wrap around there. And then contained within... You've got some vintage document um, clustered up. You've got some lace trims in the corner and then some of that deli paper on there. And it's held together with a brad. So you've got that one. I'm just going to put that one at the back, actually, because it's the biggest one. Then you've got one of those Lewis Carroll um, photographs, again, backed onto some coffee dyed paper. And then you've got a cabinet card there. Um, again, this is obviously an original cabinet card. It's slightly damaged. You've got a tear in here. That's how I got it. Um, you know, any vintage documents, the or vintage documents, vintage ephemera pieces, any defects, that's how I've bought them. Obviously, because they are incredibly old. So, you know, I've not kind of damaged them. Um, you know, although I am very clumsy. No, that's how I've actually bought them. Then you've got one of these clustered up items. These those lovely ones that I made with my daughter um, with a wax seal. You've got here another little clustered up item with a bunch of different pieces of ephemera and a wax seal. And then a handmade faux rusted paper clip. That just goes in there. And then you've got a bunch of different pieces here, including some of that deli paper for journaling and various different vintage documents, including this one, which how awesome is this? It's like an embossed um, seal type piece from a vintage document. 
So yeah, I mean, it almost looks like it's got a little chip and pin thing stuck in there. I'm not quite sure what that is, but anyway, it must be some sort of, you know, official seal thing. Um, and that's just held together with a little tiny bit of lace and then a brad in there as well. So just a very cute pack there of, you know, vintage and, and you know, some not vintage items. So that just closes like that and then yeah wraps up into your piece of your peachy colored lace so this lace is such a pretty color honestly it's just gorgeous and um obviously a lot of it is the kind of net type stuff so it's just perfect for layering and things like that so you know you can obviously use it oops just getting my my christmas decorations i mean not that they're much, much in the way of Christmas decorations, but yeah, just getting those caught up in my bits and pieces. So again, it just wraps around a couple of times on the front with the ribbon like that, and then just ties into a bow. So, oops. And like I say, I mean, obviously I had put that flower into the inside, but actually on, um, you know, in hindsight, I actually think it would look quite pretty on the outside. So I'm going to just include that on the outside of this little pack. So, oh my goodness, struggling to do that up into a bow. So that's your pack one. Then obviously your puff yo-yo. So I'm just going to kind of put that together like that. Um, I might hang that from a bulb pin or I might pop it on with a uh, bulldog clip. Just having a look to see if I can see any laying around here. I can't at the moment. Um, then you've got some ribbon here again it's wrapped around a couple of times and then you've got this gorgeous coloured lace again it's just gone around a couple of times so you know you've got a good length again for using in your projects and it's such a stunning colour I can't tell you how much I love this colour. Now this one has been um, enclosed in this is the uh, what do you call this the internal envelope paper so this paper here is not vintage it is you know it's internal envelope new that i've bought from amazon um and then i've layered up some lace here some crochet lace and a ribbon done like in the style of a bow with a couple of little diamante flowers and then again just popped on some vintage document there with some lace done down the side so you've got like a double cover going on and then contained within again you've got some gorgeous pieces of ephemera so vintage document it's again obviously with those eyelets and some ribbon vintage document vintage um document there this is some printable um my printer was running out of ink so this is not true to color as it should be but this is my new printables the um great expectations kit but yeah it's come out kind of greens and yellows it's it's pinks and browns in reality so I'm not sure why it's done that um but yeah it looks pretty on that tracing paper a vintage document um some deli paper the vintage document here some more vintage document here some envelope page um some food color page there and some vintage document here food color page vintage document some more of that fly sheet stuff some coffee dyed um tracing paper some coffee dyed paper there um so all contained, like I say, in the eyelets and then with the ribbon tied, you know, tied through them. So, you know, they're just all gorgeous little packs that you could then, like I say, use either, you know, as a little journaling pack as they are. Or, of course, you could tear them out and use those pages as, you know, as pages of, or not pages, but as pieces of ephemera and things like that to make pieces of ephemera with for your own journal so you know you've got some kind of really pretty little items there in those packs and you know hopefully a really nice selection of your vintage pieces which you know like I say you should get all different kinds of pieces um you know obviously a lot of them are documents but they're not from the same documents but you know I realize that documents look like look like documents if you see what I mean so they're not necessarily looking particularly very different so this I will just do in a little tied up knot, I think, rather than a bow. And then what I'll do is just attach that little flower. Well, I say little, I mean, it looks pretty gigantic, doesn't it? With a um, boulder clip. Oh, there we go. I thought I did have one somewhere. So I will just attach that like that 
onto there. So in fact, I could probably even slide this underneath as well. So yeah, we can have that all contained under that ribbon. So yeah, so they're very pretty, aren't they? Um, but like I say, they are different. So I will put them in um, different rather than a potluck kind of um, selection. But yeah, I really hope that you like them. And um, yeah, just very, very pretty and very kind of useful little bits and pieces. So they'll be listed in my Etsy shop at 2 p.m. GMT today. Um, so yeah, I hope you like them. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.